KPM. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yes, that was so funny. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. But she told me she was doing good, you know. I, I don't think it was a problem before. Mm -hmm. She's okay. on the phone. I uh -huh. think this is my chance. Hmm. Oh, she did? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, well, yes. Mm hmm. Actually, there's a lot of things she said to me, but I think, yeah, I have to go. Uh, maybe I'm gonna talk to you later. Okay, bye. Oh, my goodness. Where's. Where's my. Who took my money? to Teras at Didi TV KPM. You're watching today with me, Shafika Farahin Razali. And today we'll be learning Bahasa Inggris. Our title is Crime. So for those of you who love crimes, today we're going to explore more about that. But before anything, I would like to remind all of you to always practice your SOP. Maintain a physical distance of at least one meter between each other. Always wash your hands frequently. If you can't, use your hand sanitizers and always, always wear your mask, okay kids, when you're outside of your homes. All right, today, just now, if you notice what happened to me, I was robbed in broad daylight without me really realizing because I was on my phone. So for you those out there, I would like to remind you, please be vigilant and careful when you're outside. No matter what you're doing, there's always a place and time for everything. So make sure it's safety first. And who taught me that today was none other than teacher Muhammad Hanin Abu Hanif. Teacher, welcome to us on Teras on Didi TV. Jago today. Hi. Thank you for joining us. How are you? Uh, I'm fine so far and uh, I'm very excited for today. I'm excited too, kids. Are you excited? First of all, all right. But before that, I would like to uh, invite you to practice the SOP first and wear the hand sanitizer. Okay. Okay. You first, and then me. But teacher, I would like to ask, what is the relation between our gimmick just now and uh, with the topic for today? But before that, let's first introduce our students okay. so they can join us in hearing your objectives for today. Yep. Okay, students, let's invite you in. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Okay, doing good? Okay, can you turn on your mics? Aha. Uh -huh. Hello guys, have you had your breakfast? Hello. Ah. Hello. Okay, Hi. have Hello. you had your breakfast? Feeling energized today? Yes. Okay, I want to know one of you, uh, all of you actually, one by one. Can we start first with Ida? Hi, I'm Aida Binti Abdul Rahman Tio from Five Science, and you can call me Aida. Okay, hello Aida. All right, next, can we have Adrian? Hi, I'm Adrian from Five ST. Mm -hmm. You can call me Adrian. Okay, Adrian. Uh, next, do we have Muhammad Afik? Hi, my name is Muhammad Afik Ibn Muhammad Fazil. You can, I am from Five SNK. You can call me Afik. Okay, Afik, thank you so much for that. And next, Noor Faiza. Noor Faiza, you there? Hi, my name is Noor Faiza mm -hmm. I'm from 580. Okay. I think your connection is a bit lost there. Let's have uh, Surin next. And you can call oh, me Faiza. Maybe during Christian, you I'm from 5ST, you can call me Surin. All right, Surin. And last, we have Yin Zuan. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Yin Shen from 5Science, and you can call me Yin Shen. All right, so they're all from the same class, teacher? Yes. 
Uh, no, they are from uh, different same classes. School, but but same different. school, but yeah. different. Okay, teacher. <laughs> right, before we start anything, please proceed with what are we going to do today and what are the objectives for today's lesson? Okay, so uh, we are going to uh, talk a little bit about crime. Yes, uh, I put here mm -hmm. uh, what I'm going to focus. Yes, the topic is crime. Okay. But I'm going to also introduce uh, models, which is a part of our language awareness in our syllabus and also uh, the focus, uh, main focus for our today lesson is going to be about writing. So we are going to write ah. an essay at the end of the lesson. I see. So the students have to write an essay today, yep. teacher. Okay, students, get out your paper, get out your pens, and we'll be doing writing today yep. specifically, but also for writing because we're on a Google Meet today. Mm -hmm. We'll be asking them to read as well, teacher. Yep. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then what else are we going to do? We are going to also uh, respond a little bit on... Uh, this item that we have here, uh -huh. amazing item. We have uh, CSI from Sint. Yes, here, I see. can see that. Yes, uh, and also we are going to look at certain pictures that I'm going to include in my slides later on, okay? <gasps> okay. All right, teacher, I can see a lot of forensic stuff there. I'm getting really excited, students. I hope you all have had your breakfast and feeling energized to start your engines. But before we do anything, teacher, let's hear some comments from our students about this subject first. Uh, but before that, let's uh, first take a break and then we go back to that later on on Teras Didi TV KBM. Crime is an unlawful act that should be avoided among society. In fact, crime is the opposite of the law. When you committed a crime, it will affect your family members and your loved one. Such as they will be looked down upon society by your own problem. Teenager must not get caught up in this situation. It is because they are the one who will lead our nation. Hi and assalamualaikum. My name is Nara from Samba Gatara. From my point of view, crime is an offense that merits community condemnation and punishment, usually by way of fine or imprisonment. Crime in Malaysia described in various forms, including murder, sexual harassment, money laundering, and many others. However, there are many ways on how we can this crime, such as using the alarming system. The good quality of CCTV will help to detect the criminals, and this can make them think twice before they do their business. So, always remember to be gracious about what you post online, as you may be used to identify or locate it offline. Then, always make sure to lock your doors and windows. That's all. I wish you could have a happy life and stay safe. Bye. KPM Welcome back to Teras Didi TV KPM and today we're learning the language that I'm speaking which is Bahasa English and we're focusing solely on crimes but actually we're learning about writing all the way but revolving around the topic of crime. So for today we have Mr. Hanin uh, from SMK Unku Aziz Sabak Bernam Selangor. Yep. He's the teacher for Bahasa English. Right teacher, before we go any further, I would like you to proceed with uh, with the t today's lesson and the floor is yours. 
Yes, okay. So today we are looking at Unit 6, uh, the crime, the title, and also uh, we are going to look uh, into our English download at page 69, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the learning standard that we need to follow and abide by the rules given by our uh, syllabus, our right? Uh, ministry, yes. Yeah, the ministry, mm -hmm. good. Uh, the learning center is uh, because we are doing writing, so we are going to narrate factual and imagine events and experiences, and also we are going to include speaking, mm -hmm. explain and justify the points of views of classmates or others. As we are joined by our classmates over here, we are going to also listen to their opinions later on. And the learning objective is, uh, for today is to identify four or six symbols that we are going to see after this. The symbols, and I'm going to ask you also to look into the symbol later on, Shafika. Don't okay. worry. All I'm right. Show, I'm sure that you are going to look it as familiar as you've seen it before okay, okay DJ. and the last one um, uh, write a paragraph and use at least two words from the language bank uh, for each student mm -hmm. as uh, we are going to actually delegate uh, the essay to uh, certain students uh, today right okay. okay now here is the part that we need to guess the pictures okay, okay. so we'll be doing this with the students online as well right DJ? yeah so, okay, great. Uh, they also can refer it because I always ask them to actually refer to the textbook. Mm -hmm. And as you know, it's in the site already, in the website, then you can search for this textbook. Okay. Uh, so we are going to This read. one, teacher, yeah. this textbook. Yes, that's okay. textbook. Download English Form 5, okay? Mm -hmm. So we are going to look into these six words, okay, uh, Shafika? Right. So uh, can you see this word? Yes, the word? six words there. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like to say uh, name all of them? Okay, the first one is arson, arson then graffiti, yes, kidnapping, okay, mugging, the, mugging, murder, murder, and vandalism. And vandalism. Okay, mm -hmm. so we are going to look at the picture and then we will ask our student out there to actually uh, what uh, relate. relate which picture match. Uh, okay, ah. that is the proper word match. Okay, the first one. Okay. Okay. So can, who would uh, like you to try? The person? Let's have one volunteer. Okay, we have Aida. Aida. Yes, Aida. Mm -hmm. The answer is graffiti. 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 Okay, so is that the correct answer, Safka, you think? I think it should be correct, teacher. Should be correct. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. Yes, Yay. graffiti. Okay. I think uh, when we're talking about crime, it's not the the art part of the graffiti, you know? I mean, like certain people, they also express way by doing graffiti on the walls. But the thing is, mm -hmm. if it's, uh, it's, it's nice and people right. appreciate it for art, yes. there wouldn't be much a problem. However, mm -hmm. sometimes it's so obscene. Yes, teacher. And also vulgar and mm -hmm. also uh, what? Creating negative, uh, what connotation it, to people who is going to watch it. That's so, true, So, yeah, it's going to be a crime. Remember that it can mm -hmm. be art, but to a certain extent, it's going mm -hmm. to make a negative impact to other people. So, yes. we will consider it as a illegal crime. And a also crime. illegal, yeah. And also because sometimes when they do these arts, they're beautiful, but they do it on arts that are uh, on surfaces like walls that are historical buildings. Building, yeah. That are uh, preserved, teacher. Mm, so right. so that's to, considered a yes. crime. Yes, this is going to be considered as crime as well. Mm -hmm. As long as you ask permission from people, I think it wouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. That is also important. Ask okay. permission. permission. Okay. All right. So we go on to the next one, yes, let's which go. is the second picture. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is very very obvious. Can we choose uh, our uh, next person to speak? I can totally relate to this. Who wants to try? Uh huh. Okay. Yin Zuan. Yin Zuan. Okay, Yin Zuan, can you see the picture? What 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 is the word related to this picture? Mugging. 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 Is that correct? Is that correct? Let's uh -huh. see. <laughs> okay. Okay, mugging. So I think it's something that also a not very f a familiar term to be used in Malaysia yes. as well because uh, people uh, always use uh, teeth, taff, mm -hmm. something like that. And mugging is also something like that, right? Right. Okay, so need to be careful, mm -hmm. right? Right. Uh, have you any experience uh, that you uh, saw With mugging this, happen? With this, actually my friends have. A few of mm -hmm. my friends have. But for okay. me, it hasn't happened yet, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. Uh -huh. But then, uh, teacher, I would like to ask, maybe but there's a bit of difference between mugging and also uh, snatch thief. Okay. So what can you tell the difference okay, between Okay, snatch that? thief is something that uh, 
It's actually, it doesn't happen like face to face, you know, pay uh -huh. pocket. Okay. So mugging, you uh, encounter it face to face with it, the real life. I mean, ah. like, so, uh, snatch it also uh, real life. It's just that uh, the action, you okay. know, the action is different a little bit. While okay. mugging is a little bit more forced ah. than like uh, what pickpocket and I snatch. See. Okay. Mugging is more like uh, aggressive. Uh, aggressive. Ah, Good. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, Can we have is... another person to actually say? Yes. Okay, yes, Siren. Siren. Siren, why is that? The, the answer is kidnapping. Okay, let's kidnapping. see. Because you can see there's a child and then there's a grown man over there like yes. uh, taking somebody else. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you can see the action. Yes, it's kidnapping. In a forceful way, yes. Uh, so, uh, if you look at the term itself, mm -hmm. kid and napping. Yes. Right? The first term, because it always happened to kids. Mm -hmm. Because kids are very small, they are very precious, and they are very fragile as well. Mm -hmm. So easy being taken by people who are adult, who are who has grown body, to yes, be taken teacher. away from them. So mm -hmm. it's easy to still be uh, still young children. So uh, uh, parents out there, yeah, uh, because uh, now the situation is pandemic, so you can't bring your kids out, out there, right? Yeah. So uh, it's a little bit safer environment. But uh, before this uh, pandemic happened, mm -hmm. you know, we can see like many cases uh, of uh, kidnapping happen okay. among young children. So yes, be careful, okay? Yes. So it's a crime to take other people's children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a fact, teacher. That's a fact, okay. Now let's go on to okay. number four. Okay, can All somebody right. respond? Can we have, okay, Adrian. Yes, Adrian. Okay, uh, maybe Faiza will can answer later. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Adrian. The answer is arson. Arson. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we come to a uh, few more words only, right? Yes. So they can already make a, a guess as well. So okay. you can play this uh, in uh, the classroom, okay? Mm -hmm. When you already uh, matched uh, the word, then you can cross. So you are left with uh, how many words left? For you to match, right? Yes. Uh, so it's easy to it's make. A bit, it's becoming a bit easier yeah, towards as the you, end. Towards the end, yes. Right. So this is arson. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you think, Shavika, arson? Actually, arson is something that uh, for me is mm. not used commonly in Malaysia, yep. but it can be used commonly because arson is an act mm -hmm. where you set something on fire yes. and it's committed. A, it's a committing a crime. Yes, because you are doing it intentionally, intentionally to actually make some destruction to other people's property. Yes. So that is why we call this arson. Maybe because it's not being highlighted, it does happen. You it know, does it does happen. happen. It's just that we are not commonly used, and I'm Definitely. very glad that uh, this text book prepared mm -hmm. by the ministry actually introduced mm -hmm. these uh, good words to yes. uh, young learners like mm -hmm. the Form 5 students, which is going to increase their vocabulary. Okay. Yes, teacher. Vocabulary before is this, always good. Uh, that's great. Uh, but uh, also before this, when we've had cases of incidents uh, of buildings lighting up and setting on fire and mm -hmm. all that, we think it can be accidental. But yes. when we know someone's behind it, yes. it becomes an arson, yep, a crime. Okay. okay. All right, so teacher. So that's clear-cut fact from Shafika. <laughs> when it is intentional, then it becomes uh, arson. arson. Okay. Yes. Let's go on to number five. So we always see this in a crime what, movies. Like movies, yes. something like that. Okay. I think your kids love, love watching this, these kind uh, of movies. Yes, yes. Uh, who else? Faiza, right? Uh, Faiza, Faiza yes. just now. It's your turn. Faiza? Uh, murder. 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 Yeah? Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Murder. If we were to put it on a ranking teacher, mm -hmm. murder would be the most heaviest um, of crime of all? Or offence, right? Yes. Because you are taking somebody people's life, yeah. which it's is not. very precious. Even, uh, even if we cut ourselves, we feel hurt. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, somebody has the intention to actually kill somebody else who are still living or still like, yes. uh, maybe they have families. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see this murder happen, yes, it can be considered as one of the major uh, offense happened. Okay? Correct. It's another level mind game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we go on to uh, the last the last picture. one, which is like the only one answer. Uh -huh. The only one answer left. Maybe Who else does not uh, say anything? Afik hasn't said anything. Can you can you try? Yes. Okay. Okay. okay Afik. Vandalism. 
vandalism, vandalism. because that is the only word left so mm -hmm. easy for Afi congratulations because you just wait for your turn <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah okay. but it's okay because the rest of the friend need to play their roles first right, right. before he came out with the answer so and next time we have to let Afi answer first yeah uh, next yes. time okay uh, next time. <laughs> <laughs> so yes it is uh, vandalism okay. yeah so uh, the act of like uh, also intentionally destruct uh, and destroy other people's property. Mm. Sometimes it's not just about other people's property. It's the intention for you, you want to destroy something for right. fun. For fun. For fun. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like uh, breaking glasses of other people, even your neighbor. Sometimes mm -hmm. you never get angry with uh, young children. If they play and it was accidental, it's okay, right? right. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not a problem. But when you intentionally doing it, uh, it's all about the intention. <laughs> okay? Yes, correct, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now. We are going to look at language awareness. We are going to touch a little bit on models. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to introduce because we are going to, in the end, we are going to write. So I want them to actually include this model mm -hmm. yeah, inside uh, their uh, paragraph later on. Okay? okay, so models is actually what? Huh? Oh, wow. There's, There's some words there. Yeah, some words there. Uh, there are a lot actually. Sometimes we always pair them together, mm -hmm. except for certain. Yeah, we have. Will and would, mm -hmm. shall and should, mm -hmm. may and might, mm -hmm. can and could. Okay. Before I ask my student to actually like create sentences, uh, Shavika, oh, no. let's go to your turn. I present. knew I was going to be the target from the moment you had that expression. Okay, I would like to try teacher. Okay, Why not? What is the models that you want to use? Okay, should I pick just one or two? Uh, it's up to you. Okay, I would like to try just one. Okay, Keep it just on the same one. Side. Yeah, to be on the same side. All okay, right. never mind. Okay. okay, so I create a sentence yeah. from one of the words. Yep. Okay, um, one that is going viral recently, the word, can I have a cup of tea? Can I have a cup, a cup of, of tea? tea? Which uh, is um, using the word can. Can, uh -huh. yes. Because, uh, as you know, there are several purposes. Uh, when you want to do you the models as mm -hmm. uh, what you say just now mm -hmm. can can I have, have a, a cup of tea? a cup of tea so mm -hmm. you're asking I am I asking if I could have a cup of tea yes so you're asking like for somebody to help you right with oh, that yes. and also asking uh, whether I can uh, what do you want to buy request uh, request yes request making request something yes. so models help you to mm -hmm. make a certain things in your daily life and also in writing. So right. I have listed a few uh, of the ah. uh, purpose of these uh, models. All right? mm. uh, if you can see, there are a lot of lists over here mm -hmm. to show ability. For example, birds can fly. Mm -hmm. So that is to show that birds has the ability to fly. Yes. To ask permission, can I use your restroom for a while? Mm -hmm. Something like that. So you use these uh, models to make re request just now, as you say, okay. uh, to give offer or suggestion. Mm -hmm. Can I offer you my blanket? Because I see you that you're a little bit cool. Something ah. like that, right, Shavika? Okay. To state obligation and necessity. This is something that is harder. So you can use a uh, like must. Mm -hmm. You must be back mm -hmm. at seven. This is always an instruction from your parents, right? Yes, of <laughs> because course. it shows your obligation and also no, uh, necessity. Necessity. But yes, also, uh, one else that is also to show prohibition. Mm -hmm. You want to prohibit something from happening. For example, also, don't smoke. Don't smoke. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. Okay, yes. people out there, don't mm -hmm. smoke. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also uh, to show possibility to make a deduction. Mm -hmm. For example, it might rain today. Ah. Yeah, okay. it's not happening yet, uh -huh. but we want to make assumption and also deduction, mm -hmm. and also to give advice or criticism. Okay. That's why also teachers use a lot of models when we are dealing it to our kids. kids yeah. And also kids need to know this. That. Yeah, that's why we learn today about models. So, right. So uh, there's a lot of um, uh, points that we can use for yeah. the models that you listed out just now. Um, and we're going to get some uh, views and opinions from uh, students on how to create sentences yeah. using these words. But before that, students, let's first take a break and then maybe you can think of a, a sentence while we're on break. So let's see you after this on Teras DDTV KPM.
ดีเดะทีวีเคพีเอ็มมาถึงที่ KPM and today we're learning Bahasa Inggris crime. Since we're on the topic of crime, I would like to remind all of you to stay vigilant. Okay? Nowadays, although we under FMCO, uh, we have to always stay safe. Make sure you do things uh, at the right time. Safety is always first. Okay, kids? All right. Today we're still with Mr. Hanin, and just yep. now we learned about the uh, types of different models that we can use to create a sentence that we use in our daily lives. So back to our um, discussion, slides. Yeah, so, yeah discussion slides. teacher. So just now uh, uh, we already see yes. some example from you. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to uh, listen a little bit from our kids. Yes, uh, as I think, promised. Let's uh, have Afik. So Afik. we have two. Two kids. Two kids. Okay. okay. So Afik, right? Just mm -hmm. now. Okay. Uh, okay, Afik. Oh. All right, What which... is the models you want to use? Yeah, which one? I want to use me. Okay, what is the sentence then? Uh, may I offer you a cup of tea? May I offer you a, a cup, cup of, of tea? tea. Wow. That sentence is During quite this time, similar. During this time, I really need I really need a coffee break. Uh, later on, I will take. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alfie. All right. Uh, okay, and then another one would be who, uh, Shavika? Uh, can we have Ida since they're next to each other? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Aida. Okay, Aida. Which what, words? Uh, which word you use? Um, must. Must. Okay. What is the sentence then? We must obey the law. We must obey, obey the, the law. law. Right, teacher. And so, that's uh, uh, instruction, right? Yes. That's an instruction. And also a reminder, reminder and also an advice. So it can be at so many different levels mm -hmm. on how you're going to see the model. So models really help us to actually uh, tell people, mm -hmm. express the things that you want to express to other people and let them know. So models right. is really helpful and you can always use it in your daily life. Lies, okay. okay. So now we go on to the next one, yeah? Okay, because teacher, sure. because um, our focus is on writing, mm -hmm. right? So uh, to let you know, the new format actually, we need to do uh, three types of writing in paper two, mm -hmm. yeah? So there are part one, part two, part three, but we are going to focus on part two. It's an open essay, it's based on an opinion, mm -hmm. discursive and also argumentative, which leads to a B1 level, which is the level that they need to achieve according to the CEFR aligned curriculum. Okay. okay. So, so this is a, a little bit of the overview of the uh, writing test. Mm -hmm. So the first one is part one is compulsory task. Mm -hmm. We are focusing a little bit of number two, mm -hmm. uh, which is also compulsory. But for part three, they later on will be just maybe uh, they will have choices. So maybe we are going to do that in another time. But we are going to look at the part two. Mm -hmm. So uh, as I want to uh, tell everybody as well about this. This is the focus that we want uh, our student to actually try to achieve. Because the highest mark for each particular skill, the total mark will be 20. 20 marks, So a lot. we have uh, four things that they need to focus. Content, mm -hmm. communicative achievement, organization, and also language. language. If you've seen uh, the previous uh, teachers as well who presented, they also have already told a little bit about this. Uh, so kids, in order for you to get a good score, to get a five, uh, these are the requirements that you need to know. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I I'm going to read and focus on a few only, Shafika. Okay. Uh, while we talk about content, all content is relevant to the task. So re relevancy is very important. Mm -hmm. So what is the instruction of the question? So you need to adhere to uh, the question very, very carefully. Okay, that is number one, content. Mm -hmm. How about communicative achievement? Is how you're going to deliver your essay, mm -hmm. right? So uh, like uh, the... Students, right, they need to imagine that they are writing to uh, the teachers, so they need to present the ideas well. So right. are they able to communicate well in writing form? Mm -hmm. Okay, and also organization. Text is uh, generally well organized and coherent using a variety of cohesive devices. A variety of uh, cohesive devices. Cohesive devices is also can uh, be seen like, what? Um, 
in Malay they have this word I need to say a little bit just to make uh, other people out there to understand penanda wacana connectors penanda wacana they learn in terms of bahasa Melayu but we say it as cohesive devices also connectors like okay. moreover furthermore ah, although okay? okay so that is what we call as cohesive devices cohesive and also devices. Connectors. connectors and also okay. the last part is language so uses a range of everyday vocabulary everyday vocabulary so everyday vocabulary is what they use in their daily life, right? daily life right but the thing is for you to get a better score you need to also expand your vocabulary how you can you can expand last time i came with the uh, with the dictionary so a dictionary is always a good tool for you to increase your vocabulary okay? right and mm. nowadays teacher we always have uh, the dictionary dictionary in the form of apps yep. so that's more uh, portable yes portable it's easier easy. nowadays uh, yeah. so download Good. the dictionary in your phones it will be applicable anywhere anytime yes all right after <laughs> all we are doing it online the classes yes, right so course. it's easy for you to actually look at mm -hmm. uh, the dictionary in the apps if, and also if the online book is too thick mm. yep okay so uh, in order for us to write yeah, if you see the textbook, it prepares you with the language bank. Mm -hmm. Language bank meaning helpful phrases mm -hmm. for you to write the essay later on. It's mm -hmm. for you to have the content. Okay, we have break the law, commit a crime. Uh, I already asked my student to actually uh, look at through it if they have any question and they already uh, asked me mm -hmm. and they already uh, have a clarification about what they are going to do so okay. uh, to the students out there you can always refer to uh, the, the textbook, textbook mm -hmm. to uh, increase a little bit of your knowledge about the phrases and useful um, what uh, words that words. they can use yes. uh, to write sentences later on mm -hmm. and okay. then it goes back to reading a lot so you can improve and increase your language bank yep Right, okay. Okay, now there's also another part. Mm -hmm. uh, so, this is the writing task that we need to do. Okay, sure. Okay, so I'm going to read it out loud. Mm -hmm. So, you read the writing task. Okay, this is the writing. Use the plan and the language bank. So, just now we already see the language bank. Yes. So, all the words. Mm -hmm. This is very helpful for them to help you write your essay. When you have finished your essay, check your work carefully. So, Later on, I'm going to ask uh, a few of them. I'm going to assign them with okay. a few work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we are going to check a little bit later. Okay. You have been talking about crime and punishment in class. We talk about it. Ah, right? I so see. that is the relation. Okay. So I'm giving them That's idea. Good. As you can see from here, this is uh, the crime scene, right? Yes. So you can uh, what, uh, think about the vocabulary mm -hmm. that uh, they might use. So uh, we talk about the scene. We have evidence. Right. We have blood stained. Yeah, mm -hmm. blood stain over here. Yes. You can see, but actually in real life you cannot go and enter uh, any crime scene uh, because mm -hmm. it's illegal. It's so confidential as well. It's confidential as well. Mm -hmm. Let the uh, police do their job, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't interfere Correct. with the evidence, okay? Yes. Now, write your essay using all the notes and given reason for your point of view. Some mm -hmm. people say that young offenders should be sent to an army camp for uh. for a while instead of being sent to the prison. Do you? Agree. agree. So the students can choose whether they agree or not, but have to come up with plausible uh, uh, arguments Argument on the matter, on their, oh. on their opinions. Okay. All right. So, uh, so they are already given the notes mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first idea is uh, being punished. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is a learning life skill. When we are talking okay. about being sent to uh, the prison or maybe uh, army camp, army camp. Right? so you are going to learn something okay. and also uh, when you go for army camp you are going to serve there so it's also a way for you being punished by the, your action right right and, and and then we want to introduce a new idea so uh, let's see what they're going to come up with the idea okay uh -huh. i'm looking forward to that so as you know when mm -hmm. we are writing there are three parts that you need to focus on, right? Mm -hmm. Three parts. Okay, the first part you are going to look into introduction. Mm -hmm. And also, number two is the body. Mm -hmm. Body meaning that you need to have the points. Lah. Okay, the points. Just now we already mentioned about the two points, and then we are going to add a new one, okay. and then we need to come out with the conclusion. conclusion. That is the element that you need to have in order for you to come out with a very successful. Essay. essay. All right, teacher, just want to check with you. The introduction and the body and conclusion, that means we have to make it in three paragraphs or the body can have a lot of paragraphs. The body can also have lots of paragraphs. Okay. For example, like maybe you can uh, put one 
point to one particular paragraph. So uh -huh. instead of like three, okay. you might end up with five different paragraph. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, as you know, just okay. now we talk about the paragraphing. Mm -hmm. So, it's also uh, put your skill into practice. So, if you organize mm -hmm. your ideas carefully, then uh, the ideas seem like very smooth. Ah, right? I if see. If you put it in certain paragraphs. So, uh, okay. as a reader, yeah, mm -hmm. as a, a reader, so I will feel like very, very easy to read uh, the flow of idea. Mm -hmm. I can understand easier when they put certain ideas in certain paragraph. Okay, teacher, just one more question mm. before um, we go ahead. Um, because we have 20 marks here, mm. that means for the body, if you have more uh, points there to point out, mm. and then your introduction and conclusion might not be that strong, mm -hmm. could the marks be focused fully on the body? If they have more points, uh, say, compared to other students, let's say five points. Okay, mm -hmm. because this is a holistic way of actually like looking into uh, assessing the essay. Okay. So it's up to uh, also the views of the teachers. Ah. But we are going to look at as holistically, but according to that particular... Uh, topic. Uh, uh, no, not topics, but uh, what? Uh, yeah. The idea, the, the, idea. Yeah, okay. the language part, the organization part, we are going to look at into them, okay, carefully. All right, teacher. Okay. Let's proceed. Mm. Let's proceed. So, uh, Kisa, are you ready? I'm going to assign you. Yes. Uh, okay, let's get ready for this. Introduction will be done by Faiza. Faiza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, uh, being punished, for who will body? do it? Adrian. Adrian. Learning life skill is Yin Juan. Mm -hmm. The new idea wow. is by Aida. Aida. And conclusion is by Afik. Afik. Okay, so guys. So we are going to give them some time a little bit. Of so mm -hmm. we are going to go in front while we are well, letting them. They're trying to write their <laughs> essays. Write, and All then right, we kids. discuss a little bit later on. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, uh, Shavika. Okay. Yes. okay. So. When we talk about crime as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't really see uh, this thing happen. Uh, but uh, what your idea about teenagers involving in crime? To, to have an opinion about this, uh, because when you told me about teenagers um, doing crimes and all that, because um, where, when we do a law on crimes or when we do punishment on crimes, so usually teenagers um, are being put into a category where they're given more lenient uh, mm -hmm. Punishments. Punishing. So in a way, because um, people say the older, the wiser. Mm -hmm. That means with experience, when you grow, you'll have more uh, knowledge of what to do right, uh, mm -hmm. differentiate between right and wrong. Yeah. So for me, in my example, an army camp would be good mm -hmm. because they need to have time to actually um, think about uh, repenting. Repenting, and also, that is also a very good word you yes, mentioned, repenting. Repenting, mm. because you need to know what you did was wrong. Some teenagers, mm. they don't have the proper knowledge or mm -hmm. mindset on knowing what they did was wrong. They yep. just did it for fun because of peer pressure. Yep. So you have to give, cut them some slacks, you yep. know? Right, that's that's just my opinion because there's a lot of categories in the crime world. world and yeah. It depends on how severe it is, right, teacher? Yes, it depends on how severe it mm -hmm. is for uh, when we look into the crime. Is it like a very minor one? Is it a yes. very major one? Is it a very serious offense uh, when right. we look into it? Because when we talk about crime, we mm -hmm. cannot easily put them into category. We need to assess it very, very carefully. Right. And for us as a public, we need to actually have a, what an open mind first mm -hmm. and not putting blame easily on people directly mm -hmm. on the action because we don't know what has actually happened there in the situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's very good for you to have an open mind before uh, any uh, law uh, decide what actually is the crime that they did. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we may think that the offense is so big mm -hmm. that you uh, what outthink that actually Maybe it was unintentional, mm -hmm. or maybe it was just for self-defense. Or maybe, teacher, mm. they have issues within them. Yes. We don't know the current situation or mental state of a person. Very good, you put it out. Yep. Yes. Um, that's, I think that's, that is why we have a law system in the country. In every country, there's always a law system where it involves uh, the court and uh, the lawyers and also a very um, systematic system to... Uh, go through so that yep. in the end you'll really identify um, the root cause of the problem and find out the correct punishment. Punishment, in the end. punishment. So what I about, think. Yes. Okay. I think we're done. We're done. Yes. Okay. Did you have enough time, students, to come up with your essay? Okay. Uh huh. So uh, can you? 
Okay, yes. teacher, why not like this? I yeah. think they're not too ready for now. Maybe we give them a bit more time and go yeah. for a break first, kids. And uh, then actually send it yes. to me as fast as you can. Yes, send it to teacher uh, Mr. Hanin as fast as you can and we'll see you right back on Teras Didi TV KVM. KPM Dede TV KPM Welcome back to Teras Dede TV KPM and today we're learning Bahasa Inggris and we're getting the students to come up with an essay each for one paragraph to uh, to answer, maybe a few paragraphs, teacher, mm. to write their uh, arguments on whether teenagers sh should be sent to army camps or straight to the prison. Right, teacher, let's yep. go straight to the point. Let's have first uh, Faiza. Was it Faiza? To... Yes, Faiza. Yes, talk about her argument. The floor is yours, Faiza. Crime is defined as action or omission which constitute and often and is punishable by law. However, when we talk about young offenders going to prison it would be harsh for them. Instead, I believe they would be sent to army camp and there are my reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a very good interaction because she mentioned a little bit a definition about the crime right. and also she included however, however uh, connecting uh, connecting the sentences connecting to make it the flows correct mm -hmm. and also uh, she put a little bit of her idea I believe they should be sent to army camp and there are and there are my reasons so okay. she's going to put inside uh, to give chance for uh, the friends to explain a little bit more right okay, okay. Uh, this is a good flow actually teacher mm. because she is uh, stating what is defined as and then she used uh, uh, an argumentative uh, connection Change. and then at the end it's her own opinion opinion okay. very good style All right. okay can we have next uh, the next would be adrian 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 right yes the adrian. most the most common crimes committed by young offenders may include vandalism graffiti shoplifting, assaults, and petty theft ch charges. They need to be punished for such... They need, to be, they, they need to be punished for such crimes. However, they do not present a direct danger to the community like murderers. Therefore, they should not be sent to prison. Ah, okay, so this okay. is a better and clearer explanation about yes. the reasons, right? Mm. So, uh, a good job and well done. And he included also uh, two uh, connectors, however, and therefore however. to make the flow. And he also included some words from the language, the language. bang to actually help them and see, uh, mm -hmm. as, as just what we discussed earlier yes. about the degree, the degree, the of, degree the of the offenses, crime. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's unfair a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are being caught for a thief and then you are being to uh, what? Uh, a life sentence prison, yes. prison right? Yes, that so, wouldn't be reasonable. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, that is a good idea. Good idea, Adrian. Thank, Thank you very you much, that. Adrian. Mm -hmm. And then we, can we have Yin Zuan? Okay. On top of that, Young offenders should be sent to an army camp as they can learn the skills, can learn life skills. Okay. Young offenders sh will learn about the ways they dealing with people. For mm -hmm. instance, they will work in a team with others to complete their mission. Mm -hmm. As a result, they definitely can communicate with their group members and also the, the others in the army camp. Okay, okay. so uh, she a little, a little, uh, explained a little bit more about uh, maybe a, her exposition on what an army camp can actually help yes. these young offenders. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like her idea where she mentioned about can communicate with their group members because uh, maybe 
uh, we as a public uh, have the difficulty to understand and communicate our what uh, ourselves to other people, and that's why other people misinterpret yes. us. So. Yes, we have we have the inability sometimes to express what we're feeling. Actually, yes. and I saw some connectors there. Um, yeah. For instance. Yeah. And is as a result, result, is that connected? Yes. Okay, great. Uh -huh. Good job, Yin Zuan. Okay, so I, I think you mentioned uh, there are three orders on top of that. On top of that. For instant and also as a result. As a result, okay. As you know that how it works is going to make your essay look better. Nicer, and yeah. Nicer. Okay. Very professional. <laughs> okay. Now, Aida. Aida. <laughs> Moreover, it's a good idea for sending young offenders to an army camp as they can train their self-discipline there. Young offenders will learn the responsibility of being an army and in another words, they can judge the all right, all right and wrong besides mm -hmm. reflect on their past mistakes. Mm -hmm. yep. On the whole, young offenders should be sent to an army camp so they will not repeat on their fault. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, they also have like this idea whereby mm -hmm. Uh, when you put inside uh, the army camp, you are mm -hmm. given the chance to actually reflect on their past mistake and mm -hmm. actually judge uh, whether the action is right or not. Because right. you know, as a young teenagers, they also don't have like this life experience ahead of them. They are still right. like, very young, and we as adults, we are the one who actually like giving them, guiding them towards becoming a better individual, individual later on in their life, right? Yes, teacher. And, Correct. Uh, they will not repeat on their fault. fault. So mm -hmm. we need to have a, a little bit of like understanding and mm -hmm. also being positive right. yeah, towards mm -hmm. uh, our people, yes. to, towards human. Okay? It seems here as if the students here are on the same page, yeah. which they agree on uh, sending yeah. the teenagers uh, doing crimes to army camps instead yep. of prison. Yeah, uh -huh. that's good. I, I mean, like maybe they have like certain idea that yeah, they know they are youngsters. They also make mistakes, yes. right? Uh, especially when they are at home, they are always with their parents. Maybe they have like uh, what, <laughs> giving a little bit of difficulty to their parents as well. Mm -hmm. But they know they are going to learn from. Uh, they understand mistakes. the point of view. Yes. Yep. Okay. And also uh, the last one is going to be Afik. The conclusion. The, conclusion. the most important part. <laughs> yep. Yes, Afik. In, in conclusion, juveniles are too young to understand the consequence of their action and putting them behind the bar. For the crime they committed is unlikely to help them. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, making them do community work is a better alternative because it allows them to give back to the society and improve their chance of realizing their mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is also such a good uh, conclusion. Yes. Uh, however, maybe... Uh, 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 Mm -hmm. A little bit of this part can be included in the body part instead of uh, the conclusion because uh, it he, is a point added, as well. Uh, he had a, a little bit of point. Mm -hmm. it, it's okay because we are learning, mm -hmm. so I'm going to uh, later on um, uh, ask Afik to actually oh, okay actually uh, this idea can be included in your uh, body part. But uh, okay. overall, the first part. Uh, is the conclusion that uh, he made because juveniles are too young to understand the consequences of the action and putting them behind the bars for the crime they committed is unlikely to help them. I think that is a very good conclusion already. But maybe he got a lot of ideas. So it's a part uh, and parcels of learning. So don't mm -hmm. worry. Uh, teachers are here to help you and guide yes. you uh, to be a better writer. Definitely, uh, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. With the fast technology, so mm -hmm. that's why they can send me uh, fast uh, and yes. share with everybody out there their answers. Okay, teacher, we've had some very good uh, paragraphs from a complete essay that they can write from each of the students here. Thank you very much for your answers, teacher. But before we wrap up, because we've reached the end of the show, uh, can you give a bit of a wrap up to what we've learned today? Okay, so mm, what did we learn there today? You go. Oh. So, right on the dot. Yes. Okay, so we learned today about the crime. Yes, I need to prepare a lot of stuff just to get my uh, kids get into the idea of like... Have a visual. Yeah, have a visual. Yes. Uh, so it will e be easier for them to actually write the AC. Mm -hmm. uh, don't get involved with crime because it's wrong. It's against the law. Don't break the law. You are still young. If you make mistake, please apologize for your mistake and admit that you are doing the mistake and also try to be a better person. Mm -hmm. And we learn a little bit more about writing. We can include models to actually uh, make our uh, uh, make our essay better and also uh, we include connectors. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, those two points are very important, right, yep. teacher? Mm. All right, so there you have it from uh, teacher Mr. Hanin Abu Hanif from SMK Unku Aziz Sabah Bernam Selangor. Thank you, teacher, for you. sharing all the information and knowledge with us today. Yes. It was very fun learning writing with you and also because we have such an example, <laughs> um, the crime scene and also the guns here as and an also example. The, remember the acting? The acting as well. I <laughs> hope you all had a nice visual of what we discussed today and learned the best and succeed in your future tests and exams. Right, teacher? Yep. That's all we have for today. Until we meet again on Teras Adidi TV KPM. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. Bye, guys. Bye. So we are talking about crime today. Everyone should be involved in the fight against the crime. The race in criminal activities has always been a matter of proof concern among Malaysians, right? So what people fail to realize is the crime prevention is actually a shared responsibility. Yes, we know crime prevention is include the authorities such as the ministries and also government departments, but not to forget crime prevention is actually our responsibility too. So we have to play our role by improving the security of our neighborhood. So we must be the eyes and the ears to eradicate the crime. Everyone can see and know the warning signals so this will prevent us into the bigger problem. To all the candidates of SPM 2021, I wish you all the best in your upcoming SPM examinations. And also, I hope that you can keep yourself away from committing crime or any illegal activities. As right now, the most important thing for you is to focus on your study to get a promising future. Be safe and be mindful. DD TV KPM